Hi students, I'm Vishay from Vidyaru and in today's session I'm going to teach you average and with an average I'm going to discuss the smartest, the shortest and the simplest methods for solving our questions. I'm not going to assume any variables, any x or y. I'm going to be very very logical and no rectification, nothing to memorize, pure logical shortcuts. That's what I'm going to discuss today. So if you like the video, please press the like button for sure, share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And while subscribing, make sure that you press the bell icon because that's how you're going to get the notifications of all our videos. And as you can see, this video is in complete English medium because uh, most of our students from South India, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh, they find some difficulty in uh, understanding Hindi. The same is the status of our dear students from Northeast. That is why it's a complete English medium video. What you need to do is watch the video till the end because we are going to keep on increasing the difficulty level. Let's start with the first question and let's see what this question is all about. Average marks of 40 learners in an SST test is what? It is 50. If highest and lowest marks are not included, if you don't include the highest and lowest marks, what happens? The average marks of the rest of the class would fall by 1. The average will decrease by 1 if the highest and lowest marks are not added. If the gap between the highest and the lowest marks is 60, we have to find out the highest marks. Now what we can do students is uh, divide this class into three parts. What are these three parts? There is somebody scoring the highest marks. There is somebody scoring the lowest marks. Two parts. Apart from that, the rest 38. The rest 38 is the third part of this class. Sure. Now we have been given that the average is what? The average is 50. The average of these 40 learners is 50. Think of, students, think of the total marks that the highest and the lowest are providing. Because it is given that when we remove, when we remove the highest and the lowest marks, what happens? The average for the 38 who are left, the average for these 38, it falls down by 1. The average falls down by one that means the highest and the lowest these marks were not only contributing the average were not only contributing the average 50 and 50 respectively they were not only contributing to the average of 50 apart from that what were they doing apart from contributing 50 each students apart from contributing 50 each they were contributing what they were contributing 38 years they were contributing an additional 38 years how because when their scores are removed the average for the 38 who are left it falls down by one that means per person per person they were contributing one mark per person they were contributing one mark so what was the total contribution the total contribution was 38 so 38 marks are additional so the sum total of highest and the lowest marks is what average of 50 each 50 for each of them so 50 50 and 38 now you can add them up so it will be what it will be 138 so students the sum total of highest and the lowest is 138 further we have been given that the difference is what? The difference is 60. The difference between the highest marks and the lowest marks is 60. Now, let's think of it like this. The highest is, uh, of course, greater than the lowest. It is uh, greater by what? It is greater by 60. So, what if? What if I subtract this 60? What if I subtract this 60 from 138? Together, their sum is equal to 138. So if I subtract this additional 60, I'm left with 78. I'm left with 78. What does that mean? That means if they were equal, if the if they were equal, if their scores were equal, then it would have been 39 and 39 each. If their scores were equal, then they would have been 39 and 39 each. But the highest is greater than the lowest by what? 
it is greater than the lowest by 60. That means one score will be 39 plus 60. Students, one score, the highest score will be 39 plus 60. That means it will be what students? It will be 99. So the answer is what? The answer is 99. Isn't it logical? Isn't it uh, really, really simple? So if you like our approach, if you like our method of uh, teaching, then what you need to do is call upon these numbers right away and be a part of our live online classes. You can be a part of our live online classes. Apart from that, you can opt for our video courses. And we provide study material along with the test series. So it includes everything that you as a student require for cracking SSC banking, all competitive exams. Sure. Let's move to the next question now. And let's see what it is about. Read it uh, with me. Average age of 11 players in a soccer team is what? It is 28. The average age of 11 players who are there in a soccer team is 28. Of these, average age of three groups of three players. We have uh, three groups of three players each. And their averages are 25, 28 and 30. Skipper and goalkeeper are not included in these groups. So skipper and goalkeeper we will be keeping aside. Skipper is 11 years older than the goalkeeper. Skipper is 11 years older than the goalkeeper. We have to find out the skipper's age. Now let's see. Students, the average is what? The average is 28. The average uh, age of this entire team is 28. And uh, how many groups do we have? We have skipper and goalkeeper we have skipper and goalkeeper these two are considered separate sure apart from separate from apart from the three groups apart from the three groups of three players each so three groups of three players each three three and three and a skipper and goalkeeper two so a total becomes 12 so our total becomes 12 now one group has an average age of 25, the other has an average age of 28 and uh, the last one has an average age of 30. So students think of it like this. The overall average is what? Students, the overall average of the entire team, the overall average is 28. So this overall average, now listen to me very carefully, let's be logical. This overall average does not get changed, does not get affected by this group which group students this group whose average age is already 28 this particular group of three people it will not affect the overall average because the overall average is also 28 so their average will not affect will not have any impact it will not change the overall average so the change the impact will be because of these two groups the first group and the third group Sure. Now, what is the impact? Let's see. The overall average is students 28. Think of this particular group. What happens? Their average is 25. That means per person. Per person, there is a deficit of three years. Deficit, that means negative sign. Three years less. Three years less. 25 is what? 25 is three years less as compared to the overall average. The overall average is 28. So each of these members, each of these members is contributing minus three years. Each of these members is contributing minus three years. So total three members will contribute what? They will contribute minus nine years. They will contribute minus nine years. I'm just comparing their average 25 with the overall average, which is 28. Sure. Similarly, this third group, it has an overall average of what? It has an average of 30. The overall average of the team is, the overall average of the team is 28. So now they are contributing two years more per person. Students, per person average is 30. So each person is contributing two more years. Two more years, that means positive two. Two years are being contributed by each person. Two extra years are being contributed. So how many people do we have in this group? Three people. So two threes are six. So positive six. Positive six is being contributed. Sure. So now let's look at the net impact of these three groups. 
the second group will not contribute anything it will not take away anything it will have no impact the first group is contributing negative 9 the second group is contributing positive 6 so what is the overall contribution of these three groups the overall contribution is minus 9 plus 6 that means negative 3 years negative 3 years sure so 3 years this particular deficit has to be kept in mind now let's look at the situation skipper and goalkeeper are not being included we have to find out the skipper's age and skipper is 11 years older than the goalkeeper so students skipper and goalkeeper are of course two people so what are they contributing the overall average can become 28 now listen to me very carefully that is the logical part the overall average can be 28 only when the skipper and goalkeeper contribute 28 each these two people contribute 28 each towards the overall average so they contribute 28 each towards the overall average that is why 28 for the skipper 28 for the goalkeeper sure apart from that this negative 3 this negative 3 has to be compensated this deficit has to be compensated so the sum total students the sum total of skipper and goalkeeper's age will be of course 28 plus 28 plus this 3 because this 3 this deficit has to be covered up this deficit has to be made up so the total age of skipper and goalkeeper is what 28 plus 28 plus 3 that means 59 so 59 is the sum total of skipper and goalkeeper's age further we have been given that skipper is 11 years older if skipper was of the same age if skipper was of the same age as the goalkeeper then what would have happened first of all let's subtract this 11 let's subtract this 11 from their sum what was the sum of their ages 59 i subtract 11 i'm left with 48 so if skipper and goalkeeper were of the same age if skipper and go goalkeeper were of the same age then their ages would have been 24 and 24 together it would have been 48 their ages would have been 24 and 24 sure but skipper is 11 years older skipper is 11 years older that means i will have to add this 11 so 24 and 11 what does that become it becomes 35 so students 24 and 11 it becomes 35 so the skipper's ages option c 35 years I'm just trying to teach you how to not use the variables because that becomes the lengthier method and our approach is the smartest approach now last question for today and that is there on your screen average age of 30 girls in a hostel is 50 and 15 years how many girls do we have we have 30 girls their average is 15 years their average age is 15 years one girl 20 years old leaves the hostel and two new ones join so one leaves two join sure when these two girls join what happens their ages differ by five years so one is older the other one is younger the difference between the ages of these two girls is five average age of all girls now is 15 so once again the average becomes 15 when these two new girls join average or age of the younger newly girl newly joined girl is we have to find out the age of the younger newly joined girl now let's see we had 30 people whose uh, 30 girls whose average was 15 that means the total the total age in this hostel the total age in this hostel was what 15 threes are 45 450 Yes, that was the total age of these girls, of these 30 girls. Now, one girl is removed whose age is 20. So, we are left with what? We are left with 20 gets separated. We are left with 430. We are left with a total of 430 years. Now, that is the total age of all the 29 girls. Because now, students, 29 girls are left in the hostel. One is 
now out of the hostel so we have 29 girls and their sum their sum the sum of their ages is 430 now what happens two more girls join two more girls join that means the number of girls is now 31 the number of girls is now 31 sure now we have been given that the average has once again after these two new girls join the average becomes 15 once again so what is the total so students what is the total age of these 31 girls now 31 girls the average is 15 so 31 into 15 the total age will be 31 into 15 and what does it turn out to be it turns out to be yes 465 so 465 is the age after these two new girls join so two new girls join now listen to me very carefully two new girls join and the total increases from 430 to 465 two new girls have joined the total age has increased from 430 to 465 that means there is a gain there is an addition of 35 years there is a gain there is an addition of 35 years sure we have been given that the younger girl is five years younger if they were of the same age if they were of the same age then what is the situation first of all let me subtract this difference the difference is what the difference in their ages is five the combined sum is 35 the difference is five let me subtract this five i'm left with 30. so if they were of the same age if they were of the same age then their ages would have been 15 and 15 then their ages would have been 15 each if these two girls were of the same age then 15 each would have been their ages but the younger girl younger girl uh, is to be found out so the elder girl is what the elder girl is five years more the elder girl is 15 plus 5 20 years and the younger girl is of course only 15 years option b that's the answer so students with that i'm going to wind up today's discussion but if you've liked our videos then uh, make sure that you press uh, the like button and apart from that subscribe to our channel and keep sharing our videos god bless you so much